Hi everyone, today we are going to create a crazy reel in CapCut. Time doesn't stop. Every second is a chance to create something that lasts. But without balance, it collapses. Without focus, it fades. Nothing happens unless you make it. So first, let's see what all we need. As you can see in my computer, okay, this is the storyboard. So total there will be around five to six scenes. In here, what you will see is these clock images. So these are a bit of 3D images. So I, you know, customized it in After Effects and provided you the asset. Okay, but if you directly, you know, search in Pinterest, you can find, you know, these images. And the next thing is I have provided you the BG music and voice audio separately because I see that you are finding it difficult to practice SFX. So this will help you become better at sound design and rest all is everything can be done in CapCut. So open your CapCut and let's begin. Okay, so as you can see in the start, the background is there. So I'll bring in my default text. Okay. And hit on, you know, Windows plus dot key to bring up this menu and select the square. Now I'll increase the font size. Okay. Now I'll just go here and I want to select this color, this off blue, light blue color. So I'll just, you know, head on to color, select this color picker tool and hit this. Now I've got the color. So in the start, the clock will come in. Okay. See the only animation in CapCut, which we can't do for this read is the rotating. As you can see the, when the clocks are coming, they are, you know, rotating. So as there is no 3D, we can't rotate it on X, uh, sorry, Z axis. Okay. So we have just, we will do all the other animations. Okay. So first I'll bring my main clock. Let me put here the video for placement of our clocks. Okay. So put this here like this. Okay. Deselect uniform scale and adjust it. Okay. Yeah. Bring it directly from our menu. Yeah. Put this here. Deselect uniform scale. Put it like this now again I'll bring so do this and place all your clock images okay so after we have placed them so as you can see here they are coming like this and then suddenly they are changing direction okay so what we can do is first let's make all of them small okay now we have to animate them individually so just select one by one and press transform keyframe for all of them then go two to three frames forward and again just press transform keyframe okay now you have to just increase the size a bit okay now go ahead around somewhere here and what we'll do is again press the transform keyframe Now, in this keyframe, we'll just make it more big. Let's move the keyframes more far. Now, just, you know, at the end keyframe, cut the clips. And then just flip them or select mirror. now i have given you the image okay of the window shadow so just put it behind you know the clock images make it big reduce the opacity head on to effects and you know bring in blur let's increase the opacity a bit yeah Now we'll search for another effect, which is shake. And we'll bring it at the top. Hit on this keyframe. 
go two frames ahead again hit on the keyframe and decrease everything to zero put it like this in the middle and now cut it from here now head on to effects and bring in dot cell screen here just reduce some textures okay yeah and we'll keep this for two frames and cut it put it here so it will look like this yeah now we need to bring in the text so as the last video i already prepared the text i will tell you okay so this is time doesn't stop let me bring it okay and we will put this behind here okay so this time font is bebas new you can get this font for free i have you know used italic to make it slant also i have used stroke okay so to get this black edge and this doesn't stop i will take and put it above all the clock pngs over here I'll add a bit of shadow. Okay. So, in the animation, this time animation, I will show you. I have used this flicker. It's free. Then, for this doesn't stop, I have simply used fade in. Okay. So, you will get this effect. And after this, frame changes. Here, We'll just simply put our new text. Okay. Let us see what the new text is. We'll put this at the top. Okay. Here. And then another text is every second. So I'll just copy this and paste it here. And the animation is same guys, the same animation which we used for the first set of texts. So every second will be here. Okay. Just remember while doing the clocks to make it smaller in size, the, the clock size so that the text is visible. Okay. So as you can see, it's zooming in and then next animation is starting. Okay. So. What you have to do is first you have to zoom it in. So after the break, you select everything. Okay, all the images and hit all plus G. Now hit on the video transform and till here just scale it slowly okay just a little bit scaling so it will look something like this and then go one frame ahead hit on transform and go around three to two to three frames and scale it this much and then cut it okay so it will be something like this and again at the end, just bring this tall cell screen which you used and paste it here. So now let's see our complete first animation. Okay, now the second animation is same. Okay, so I will, you know, fast forward this. It is the same animation which we did. After completing the second animation, it will look something like this. okay and again the same animation okay this one is for you you can do this easily and at the end okay just okay what at the end when this goes out okay when this goes out just you know directly cut to the frame and then 
do this okay so with this our animation is over see you in the next video